Well, the weekend is just around the corner, and it's your chance to make the most of what's happening around the D. April Morton joins us with a lineup of fun that's on tap for the weekend. Hey, what's everyone. happening this weekend? Hey, guys, it's Thursday. I'm ready for the weekend. I know you guys are ready yes. for the weekend. I was already talking about, thank God it's Thursday, TGI Thursday. TGI Thursday. I just like saying. that. I just, like that. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> So yes. what can we get into this weekend? I'm excited. So, of course, like always, we're in the D, so there's so much going on. First off, this Friday, the Detroit Symphony Orchestra is taking it to the streets. Y'all remember that song? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Doobie Brothers? That's the music that is. And as part of the DSO Music in the Park series this summer, musicians are leaving behind Orchestra Hall and headed to the neighborhoods. There are only two more chances to enjoy this wonderful event. Tomorrow, the event is at Spotlight Park on Linwood in Detroit. It all kicks off at 10.30 in the morning with a music workshop and lunch designed for kids 10 and under. That's followed by the DSO performance from 11.30 to 12.30. It's all free, but registration is required for the workshop. That's pretty awesome. I, Very. Think, I mean, they're going out into the neighborhoods. I mean, not many people get the chance to go to Orchestra Hall. So this mm -hmm. way they're taking it right, right to your doorstep. That's that's awesome. All right. Now this is for my art lovers out there. Here's a unique event. It's the first annual Grand Boulevard Art Stroll. That's more than 75 visual artists will have their work on display. The stroll takes place in three locations on the boulevard. That's Chroma, that place is so awesome with the mural on the yes. side, um, Blackbird Gallery, the Irwin House Gallery, and all of these locations are right there on the Boulevard East and West Grand Boulevard. It's all happening Saturday starting at noon with a closing reception from 6 to 10 p.m. Now over to downtown Detroit. Guys, this is really hard to believe, but Beacon Park has been there for five years. Yeah, that's wow. crazy. I remember that, when it, it, five years seems like a long time. I would have said years. three. Yeah. But then add the pandemic in there, the, so I guess that brings us to five, off. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so wow. they are celebrating this weekend that huge milestone, and this is all including activities with pop-up shops and more happening Friday and Saturday. Then on Sunday, it's the big celebration, the official fifth anniversary celebration, and they will celebrate also Detroit's 321st birthday, and this will all be with live entertainment, a bounce house, live um, lawn games, and food trucks. Sounds I like love Beacon event. Park. Mm. And their new trucks. night markets are just everything. Yes, so yes. it's a so great, support, great opportunity. Get out there and support local businesses right. as well. That's right. So speaking of food trucks, who's ready for some Coney's? Me. <laughs> we all are. The Southeast Michigan Coney Fest is taking place at the Packard Proving Grounds in Shelby Township. The fest will feature multiple food trucks serving up Coney-inspired dishes including, of course, Coney Dogs. There will also be a live classic rock music band and activities for the kids. Tours of the historic plant featuring classic cars will also be available. And it's all happening Sunday from 11 a.m. till 7 p.m. at the Packer Proving Grounds that's in Shelby Township. This place is, is pretty amazing. I'm not sure if you guys have ever been there. Have you guys been to the Packer Proving Ground historic site? I mm -hmm. have not. Neither but... have I. But I'm no? sure it's wonderful. Okay, it's you got to get out there. Got to check it out. Yeah, it's Thank you, April. April, thank you so You're much. Awesome.